The story is of a man who knew too much. The year 1995. The tobacco industry or big tobacco is in full bloom. Multi-billion dollar revenue. Smoking is safe. Nicotine is non-addictive. Big Tobacco has not lost a single health lawsuit. Big Tobacco exudes power and influence into the Maya beyond. Jeffrey Wigand was a man who knew a secret, a secret which could tame Big Tobacco. Nicotine kills. But will he choose to whistle out? Will he become the prophet of doom? Board meeting of Brown and Williamson is in progress. Mr. Jeffrey Wigand, Vice President of Corporate Research, is being fired by Mr. Thomas Sandifer, CEO. As Head of Research, do you still stand by your statement of nicotine, thereby smoking being harmful? It's against the company's secret. Yes, certainly. Do you understand the employee termination document? In specific, the confidentiality agreement of not revealing any of the company's secrets? I know the document by heart, word to word. Good. I wish you expand the legal coverage of silence of the document. I advise you stand by it. Are you threatening me? You have a sweet family, Jeff. Are you threatening my family? What happens if I don't sign? We'll end your severance package, no medical coverage, and we will initiate a litigation against you. We are a huge empire and we intend to stay that way. Do you know our power, our influence? We have the Congress in our pocket and we own the entire legal system. Normally, you're innocent until proven guilty. But here, we make the rules. You're always assumed to be guilty. In other words, if you need the cash, you better shut up. So what you're saying is that you're firing me for being ethical. You're threatening me. You're threatening my family. You're trying to screw me? Well, screw you. I don't think he got the message. He got the message. Jeffrey has been fired for non-compliance of company secrets. We are in Jeffrey's house. Leanne, his wife, is present. They have two beautiful daughters, Deborah and Barbara. Hi, honey. Good news. Deborah made it to the school swimming team. That's great. How was work? What's all that stuff in your car? Is that from your office? I got fired today. Fired? What are we going to do? The bills on the car, the house mortgage, the medical coverage. What about the kids? There's a basic severance agreement. It gives you monthly cash and medical coverage. That's about it. Jeff, listen to me. Please stick to the agreement. You are in a lot of debt. Do not be a hero. Please remember that you have a Lowell Bergman, producer of 60 Minutes, has got a lead that Jeffrey knows something big. He visits him in his house. Morning, Mr. Wagon. I'm Lowell Bergman, producer of 60 Minutes from CBS. I do not wish to speak with you. I have sources to believe that you have information that can indicate big tobacco. I have a confidentiality agreement. I honor agreements. I have a family to take care of. I'm not coming in the way. You want to honor your agreement? You honor your agreement. It's safe. But if you have something for the greater good, have a little courage. And given that it is for public interest, it will be legal. Are you the type of guy who breaks out from your rules? Who cares about his neighbor? Your choice. I'll give you a brief overview. That's it. Jeffrey's family receives death threats. Lowell rushes over to help. The FBI is called to investigate. Jeffrey! There's a 
separated into many blocks. Look at this letter, the trading is still us. I told you to settle the agreement. Call the FBI, now. Fred Stevens, Special Agent, FBI. I'll take care of this. Jeff, what happened? You know what happened? You screwed me. Protection of sources. Bullshit! I have death threats against my family. I don't burn my sources. I'm a person of my word. This is just a coincidence. Brown Williamson must be tracing your every move. The bad guys threaten the good guys without fear. Where's justice? Luel, I need to reveal. I need to go on tape. Are you ready on 60 minutes? Jeffrey, have you lost your mind? Did you not see this letter? Please don't do this. Do you want a gun, sir? The same caliber as the bullet. Are you implying that I made all this up? Do you have any past record of anxiety, sir? Yes. I do get anxious when some lunatic threatens my family. Is that anxiety enough for you? I have a report here from Brown and Williamson's detailing your unstable mental condition and posing a threat to your family. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Anything you say will be held against you in the court of law. Jeffrey is all set to give his interview with Mike Wallace, the talk show host of 60 Minutes, America's largest talk show. He plans to blow the whistle. So Mr. Wigand, you're stating on record that nicotine is harmful and addictive? Yes. I was Vice President of Corporate Research at Brown and Williamson. I have proof that nicotine kills. Mr. Sandifer, your former head at Brown and Williamson, along with the other head of Big Tobacco, swore under oath to the safety of nicotine. I have reason to believe that they lied. So what you're trying to say is Big Tobacco have been pulling off the biggest scam in American history by selling smoking is safe? That is correct. They are responsible for millions of deaths. Looking back in introspection, with all the danger to your family, would you have still blown the whistle? Yes. I have a moral code to uphold. My family will understand eventually. I have a duty to humanity. I would certainly blow the whistle again. It's the right thing to do. Mike, the talk show host of 60 Minutes, has come to know that Jeffrey's interview cannot be aired due to the threat of a multi-billion dollar lawsuit by Big Tobacco. Thank you, well, we cannot air the interview. Big Tobacco is threatening us with a multi-billion dollar lawsuit. 60 Minutes will be bankrupt. So what you're saying is that despite having a good chance legally, you don't want to reveal the truth? Are you a news guy or a business guy? Where are your ethics? Here's a guy whose whole life is at stake. His family is on the line. Does he want to speak? Yes. Is he telling the truth? Yes. Are we going to air it? No. We cannot air the truth. Leanne wishes to file for a divorce. Lowell calls up with the news of the interview getting cancelled. I need to talk to you about something. I know I have to stand by my husband, but I can't do this anymore. I need to protect the kids. They are in danger from being involved with you. I'm sorry. I want a divorce. A divorce? I'm sorry. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring.
Jeffrey, how are you doing? How's the family? There is no family. Leanne's fight for a divorce. Jeffrey, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say this. I'm not good at sugarcoating. 60 minutes is not going to air your interview. Luan, you do not know what it is to be in my shoes right now. I revealed all this on your instinct and you betrayed me. I have no job, no family, no redemption. I'll keep trying to get it back, always in the fight. Lowell has disclosed to the New York Times the lowly standards of 60 minutes. Mike is furious. Well, you son of a gun. You screwed us. You revealed all our internal happenings to the New York Times. We've been accused of unethical practices, hiding information and not holding our founding values. I screwed you. You screwed you. You knew what was ethical. You had a legal chance to fulfill it. But what did you do? You backed out. And now the whole world will know what we stand for. Nothing. Fine. Let's air our interview on all our channels at 6 p.m. Jeffrey, are you awake? Have a look at CBS at 6 p.m. You're live, buddy. We won. Did the interview have an impact? Oh shit. God damn it. I knew this tobacco fanatics wanted to kill me. Let the liars. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I have been resurrected. A new life, a new chance. I have been lost and now I have been found again. Leanne comes back for giving Jeffrey. They realize the importance of moral courage. Jeffrey, I understand what you did now. It was for the greater good. I'm proud of you. Yes. There are times in life where we have to rise united above fear and do what is morally correct. Our children will understand the action of their parents. We will be redeemed eventually. The world needs heroes. Will you rise to be one? 